Well, hello friends, this is Amy Frilici at the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio. And today I wanna to show you how to make this beautiful Christmas cracker box. So you can see we got a fun little tag on it. Um, the, the ribbon I absolutely love. This is the, you can kind of see one side is old olive, the other side is pretty peacock, so it's a reversible ribbon. But the fun part is the distinction isn't so great that you can have both of them showing at the same time and it's still beautiful. And then how about about this designer series paper, the brightly gleaming designer series paper. So let me show you, I actually saw, this is a really fabulous idea that Stampin' Up! showed us. So it's on page 31 in our holiday catalog. And if you zoom right in right there, you can see the traditional Christmas cracker box. And they kind of give you some instructions right there. And then they actually had more detail on um, our Stampin' Up! website on how to make these. So I did it maybe just a little bit differently, but same basic idea. So I want to kind of show you how, because it's really, really simple to make um, this fun Christmas cracker box. And then of course you got to put treats inside, right? So I have, these are just scrap pieces for my tag, uh, Pretty Peacock, Knight of Navy, and Copper Foil Paper. So the only measurement you really need to know about is your designer series paper. So you need a piece of paper that measures eight inches by eight inches square, okay? Then you're actually going to put that right on your scoring plate, and you are gonna score at one and three quarter inches, and you just wanna make sure whichever way you want your box to be going. So most of the paper doesn't really matter, but if you happen to have, oops, I need to get that into the view a little bit better, right? Um, if you happen to have paper that you wanna make sure goes a certain way, just make sure you score it going along that way. Okay, so again, we've got it at one and three quarter inches, and I usually do that a couple times just to make sure, but I also don't press too hard because I don't wanna mm, rip through my paper. Then that was at three and a half inches. Then we've got another one at four and a quarter, or excuse me, I'm sorry, five and a quarter inches, and then at seven inches, okay? So I'll repeat that. We've got one and three quarter, three and a half, five and one quarter, and seven inches. And if you wanted to make it longer, you could just use a longer piece of paper. If you wanted to make it shorter, just use a shorter piece of paper, but you're gonna score it every one and three quarter inches um, regardless, okay? All right, so we've got that. Now we are gonna grab, so this is one of the punches that's in the Gleaming Ornaments Punch Pack. Actually, first of all, we're gonna do this. We're gonna fold along our score lines because that's gonna help me know where to punch things, okay? So right along each of our score marks, we're gonna insert our punch all the way up to the edge of our paper, and then you wanna center. So I'm gonna try to kinda of hold on to that without um, punching through. So with the score mark, you wanna go right through the center of the punch, okay? So you're gonna go along and you're gonna do that along all of our score marks, okay? And one more there. And then actually back here on the very end, you're gonna act as if you have a score mark, so you're just gonna punch kind of a half of a little ornament there. Okay, so you can kind of see how that's working there. We're gonna do the exact same thing over on the other side. Again, I'm inserting the punch all the way so that it's flush along the edge of my paper. I'm finding my score marks. And what I did find is if it's not absolutely perfect, it still goes together. So just do the best you can to get your score marks lined up kind of at top and bottom, and then punch. And then you've got all these cute little ornaments too that you can use for another project. So we're just gonna kind of scoot those all out of the way because we don't need those today, okay? Now, so let me show you how this is gonna go together. So this is gonna go together just like that. So we're gonna put some tear and tape along all of those edges right there, okay? So let me grab this, and we're gonna apply our tear and tape. Oops, kind of flitting things all around here, aren't I? Okay, so we're gonna run a piece right along there, and then we're gonna put a couple more just along the edges here to hold our little Christmas cracker box together, okay? I'm gonna press down. I think I find it's best if you press down really firmly on that tear and tape, because then when you go to peel the little backing, 
you don't peel up the tear and tape is the idea if you um Pressed firmly, which apparently I didn't. And you gotta make sure on the edges too where you're trying to pull up. And of course, now that we're trying to do a video on this, it's gonna be more futsy for me because <laughs> that's how that works, right? Okay. All right, this may be the longest part of the video is pure tearing that off. And it's really not that bad. Okay, so I have found it's easiest to just lay this flat and then lay that down. And we're gonna press really firmly so we make sure our box is all put together and now can you see so now what I did was just along the edges can you see I'm just going to kind of fold those in along both ways there so that it's going to kind of go together just like that and then we're going to do the same thing just kind of accordion fold those in maybe is that what you'd say oops along there and then we're going to do that again along that one so that then when you tie your beautiful my favorite ribbon oh i just love old olive on one side pretty peacock on the other i grab my scissors and we are gonna tie a couple of bows get lots of ribbon on the end there either so that that helps me tie my bow okay so we're gonna tie pretty bows on each of our ends Kind of pull on that one. Okay, so we've got one. So can you see how easy these come together? I will have all of the details, uh, all of the item codes, I guess I should say, in the details to this YouTube video. So if you wanna know the item code number when you go to do your shopping for the ribbon or the designer series paper, um, and I made that too big. I'm afraid that that loop looked way too big. Like it wasn't gonna, <laughs> it wasn't gonna work very well for me. Okay, there we go. And you can see, I tend to. So that's kind of an ugly bow at first, right? So then you just kind of start uh, pushing and pulling. I say, you know, on the ends of it, so that you get it to look the way you want to. Okay. So, and I will tell you also, when you are ready to do your shopping, grab those item codes from the details of our YouTube video. I was trying to flip that around to make sure both of the bows are on the top there, right? And then also grab the host code from my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. When you shop online and use that host code, um, you always get the projects that I demonstrate on Facebook Live videos that I do every Friday. And your name also goes into the drawing for the Facebook Live giveaway that I do. So awesome way to shop and then get even more free stuff. So there is the basis. So how simple was that, right? To make the little Christmas cracker box. And I love that paper too. So now we're just gonna make a cute, simple little tag. So with my scraps here, I've got my pretty peacock cardstock. I've got some pretty peacock ink and then my beautiful Christmas gleaming stamp set. We're gonna use that stamp right there that I've already mounted on my clear block. So we're gonna just stamp this little guy. So nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. We are gonna press straight down, make sure all the ink comes off, lift straight up. Don't wiggle or rock because you don't wanna get ink around the edges. Although in this case, that wouldn't even be a big deal because you're gonna use the other ornaments. You can see we have the two ornaments in the punch pack, right? That's why that bundle is maybe a little bit more expensive. If you buy the Christmas Gleaming stamp set and then the punch pack, you do save 10% on the bundle. What is that bundle price? It's 48, or excuse me, 49.50 it looks like to get all of this though. Two punches and the stamp set. So it is a great value. Okay, so we've got that one there. We I just have a little scrap of copper foil paper. So I'm gonna grab my smaller copper punch. We're just gonna pop that little baby out there. This is the only thing we need to do with our Big Shot is we're gonna emboss this little baby. If you can see with our hammered metal embossing folder, okay? So let's do that and then we'll finish putting our tag together. Okay, so I have my die cutting machine. I have my regular platform and then I've got my blue um, cutting pad or whatever you wanna call that. Um, because I'm using, this is one of the 3D embossing folders. So you need your regular platform and the blue plate, I'll call it. And then this is our hammered metal embossing folder. So I'm just gonna pop that baby right in there. Doesn't really matter where he goes, because it's all 
it's all good no matter where you put it. Okay, so I'm gonna crank that and check this out. Isn't that cool? Now, let me see, depending on which way you put it in your embossing folder. So you can see how this one is kind of, um, I, I don't know how I'm gonna describe that, but it's like pressed into the paper where this one is kind of popping out of the paper. So just know that with the Stampin' Up! logo, I put it in just like that, and then it was pressed down into. If you want it to look like this one where it's kind of popping out of itself, you would put your paper in, I'm gonna say upside down like that. So the white is showing and the foil is on the underneath side when you're looking at the Stampin' Up! logo. So I like it both ways. And actually, I think I might even like it better this way. Somebody else told me they liked it better the other way. I think it's a total personal preference. It looks great. You might not have even noticed um, the difference. Okay, so now I am going to grab, I've got my little punch here so we are going to attempt to punch a hole in the center without ripping or getting too close to the edge okay probably should be using the little littler one that went really close to the edge i think it's going to be all right for these purposes it will be fine um oh now we have to actually kind of decorate that up just a little bit so i have my little strip of knight of navy cardstock i've got my half inch circle punch oops of course that has to go flying right we are going to add a little bit of adhesive to our circle, okay? We're going to pop that right on the center, and then I've got some of our star designer elements. I'm just going to take one of those guys off, and I'm going to pop that. I kind of want it straight up and down, so I am going to move that. It's got a glue dot on the back of it, so it sticks on there very nicely. And then we are going to tie our uh, little tag together here with some linen thread. Okay, so we're going to run that. Oops, I got to do this one first, don't I? This was going to go underneath. Okay, so normally, there we go. Okay, so we've got that little baby, right? We're going to run it through this one. And then we are gonna tie it around our little treat here. Okay, oh, I love, I wasn't sure. Um, I really knew that I loved the lighter, kind of the, the more vanilla with all of the um, pretty colors and foil on it. My fingers are freezing, so they're not working very well. Okay, so all you're gonna do is tie a knot right here, basically. Um, what I was starting to say was I wasn't sure about this kind of pretty peacock foil paper, how this was gonna, if I was gonna like it as well. I don't really know why, because I love the pattern of the paper, but I do, I'll show you what I mean here. Let me just trim this little guy off. There we go. Okay, so, oh my gosh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to show you, I put some little candies inside. So before I tied up one of the ends, I slipped in a couple of, because they fit perfectly right in there. And I thought those colors, um, of the packaging kind of worked really well <laughs> with um, uh, the, the colors on our little treat, our cracker box here. So this is what I was saying. I wasn't sure if, I thought maybe I'd like that design better, but I think I like them both. Oh my goodness. And I love that ribbon too. Isn't that gorgeous? So like I said, guys, oh, and you know what? So not to spoil the surprise, I'm waiting to post this video until I make sure everyone that participated in my retreat in a box has received their boxes, but this is one of the goodies that everyone received that came to my one day retreat or did the retreat in a box. So how fun is that? And I wanted to, I told them I was gonna make videos so that when they received their packages then they could learn how to make these as well. So now everybody can make these cute little cracker boxes. So, as I said earlier, make sure you grab the host code on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com when you go to shop for any of the products that you need to make these cute little cracker boxes, right? Grab that host code. Make sure you use that. You always get the two free cards that I demonstrate that week on uh, Facebook Live on Friday at 1130, right on here on the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group. I also do a giveaway, and your name goes in the drawing for the giveaway when you order online and use that host code. You can order online right here at Amy Suzanne stampinup.net anytime. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these fun little treats and we'll see you again soon. Bye everybody. <laughs>